In this video, we're going to be taking a look at problem 2.1.8s, an old actuarial exam problem in the 6th edition of Roverman. It seems like a mouthful here. Find an expression for the sum of accumulated or future values of annuities immediate for various terms. We introduced the idea of an annuity in the last video. Problem statement is actually fairly short, but just because it's short doesn't mean it's easy. Given that this future value of a certain annuity immediate, uh, which is a series of level payments of one, 10 of them with an interest rate of 0.1, we find that future value immediately after the last payment in the annuity. That's why we call it an annuity immediate. We would then want to take that and find the value of the summation in terms of s. Find the value of the summation in terms of s. Now, there's an initial temptation here to maybe think you need to make a number line um, and you know try to work this out in a complicated way, but actually it turns out to be best just to work with the summation as it is based on the formula for this future value here. Let me remind you of what this symbol means here. I guess I will draw a number line for that. In general, if you've got n payments of 1, say starting at time 1 and going to time n. It doesn't really have to start at time 1, but that's sort of the simplest way to think of it. If you find the future value of that annuity, that series of payments, all combined at time n immediately after that last payment, that's given the symbol s sub n i. n is the number of payments, i is the interest rate, and we saw in the last video that the formula for this is 1 plus i to the n power minus 1 divided by i. And this is definitely a formula you want to have memorized and you will have memorized if you're studying for actuarial exam 2. That's what the symbol means. All right, so uh, in the case where n is 10 and i is 0.1, we're calling that s. You don't actually have to find the value of s to solve this problem. You're just trying to get an algebraic expression for this thing in terms of s. But we could find the value of s if we wanted to, just to reinforce the idea of this formula. When n is 10 and i is 0.1, this is going to become 1.1 to the 10th power minus 1 divided by 0.1. Let's see what that is, just for the sake of interest. And you know, if you were asked to find it, you should be able to do that. 1.1 raised to the 10th power is this. Subtract 1, divide by 0.1. This future value, the future value of these 10 payments at time 10, based on an interest rate of 10% per year, say if this time is in years, is about 15.94. I'll just go ahead and round it to that, about 15.94. Okay, more than what you put in, when you put in 10. Okay, you are earning interest. All right, let's come to the problem now, though. Deal with this summation here. So I'll write it down here. Sum as t goes from 1 to 10 of this symbol. Okay, so again, what I said was the best thing to do is really just to use this equation here and work with this symbolically. That's the best approach. So I'll go ahead and plug in the formula for this future value. Uh, so n is going to be replaced by t, and i gets replaced by 0.1. So I get 1.1 to the t power minus 1 divided by 0.1. That is what I'm adding. Now just work with this. Um, perhaps the simplest thing to do here is to uh, see that since you're dividing by 0.1, that's the same as multiplying by 10 which is a constant, so I can bring it out in front of the summation. And also, what I'm left with is a sum of this difference. I can take the sum of the first thing minus the sum of the second thing. I can write the summation t goes from 1 to 10 of 1.1 to the t minus summation t goes from 1 to 10 of 1. And that is just 10. And this thing, if you think about it, what does it equal? It equals 1.1 uh, to the first power plus 1.1 squared 
plus 1.1 cubed, etc., up to 1.1 to the tenth power. Let me let me factor 1.1 out of that and write it like this. Let's see, though, let's to the first power. And the benefit of doing this is you see that this is a summation that's going to give you the future value of an annuity immediate at the time of the last payment based on 10 payments. Uh, it is exactly what we've got up here for the situation when n equals 10 and i equals 0.1. This is, in fact, s10.1. It is what we're just calling s. Therefore, this summation, coming back to this expression and putting it down here, is going to be 10 times, in parentheses, 1.1 times s minus 10. You can multiply the 10 back through. It simplifies to 11s minus 100. And that is the answer. That's an expression in terms of s, an algebraic expression for the summation. If you wanted to find its value, if you were asked to find its value, you certainly could do so. You could plug the 15.94, maybe with more decimals, into this. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it is with more decimals. So multiply this times 11 and subtract 100. This has a value of about 75.31. You're not asked for that, but you could find it if you needed to. And that'll be the end of this video.